Greetings, sir, Kwame. Kwame. I greet. What do I owe this honor now to the seat? Who to give us a seat so you can sit down? Whatever we have done is for the betterment of our families and the entire community. I totally disagree with you, Kweku. Some of you have brought, you know, personal interests, witch hunting, and character assassination into the elders' council, thereby laying it to become a, a, a personal fight. I don't know what your point is. You know, as we do, that your suspension from Edda's council is that you committed an unspeakable offense, and I don't think you expect the elders to fold their hands as if nothing happened. You see, that can make us lose the confidence and the trust of the entire community. We did the right thing at the right time, Kwame. Oh, so that is the reason why you people have been hosting meetings without informing me or giving me feedbacks about those meetings. <laughs> I see. If you people know exactly what you are doing to yourselves, or you are turning yourselves into. Well, um, why have you come here? You shouldn't come somewhere close to me or my house because you know you and I are not friends. So, Kwame, <clears throat> please, he came on my request that he accompanies me to see you. That is why I allow you people inside because I saw you and him. Kwame, I don't, I don't, I don't know your problem. You are taking this thing personal. You insult everybody. You do, I, I don't easy, understand. Take it easy. Why? Uh, please, say Kwame. Please, let's shift our thoughts for the interests of peace in our community. Making this land safe and conducive for the betterment of our people should be the top priority of every member of this community. Please. This doesn't explain why you are here. I want to know the reason why you are here. The elders have chosen me as the new community chief. The elders have done what? The elders have done what? You and your useless elders have done what? Oh, I see. You and your useless elders. Oh, a synthesis matter like this. You people went ahead and discussed and selected somebody without informing me. But that's what we are. Shut up! Community chief, my foot. My foot! Oh, I mean, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please, enough is enough. Don't just talk to us anyhow. What we are trying to do is just to pick a, 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 a credible person like, like, like Lucky. To be our, our, our community chief. To replace the, our former chief. That will last for over, over two years now. Oh. That's what we are trying to do. Credible. Yes. Did you say credible person? I've heard the two of you get your useless bodies out of my house. Out. Out of my house. Get out. Kwame! Kwame! Nonsense! Selecting that boy as the community chief? Ah! Impossible! Not once I am alive! I want to be the community chief! And nobody can do anything about it. Even the three edges can never stop me! They can't! Nonsense!
I hope all these will be up to a thousand Ghana cities. Ah, but this girl, pa, why is she making me do all these? She better love me or give me a whole life or I'll be bad. Hey, are you traveling? No. Why are you packing all these things? Um, I want to sell them. For sale? You want to sell all these things now? For what? When did this start? I know this may sound funny, silly and awkward, but I still want to do it. Do what? What are you talking about? Steve, Rose insisted that the only way she can come back to me is if I can take care of her needs. And next week is her birthday and she has asked me to raise a thousand Ghana cities for her quickly. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening in my house. Nana, what are you doing to yourself? Why have you allowed yourself to go get to this fooling level? This is obviously one of the silly things I watch in the movies. Why will you go this far for a lady who is seriously in to exploit you? I understand how you feel, but you don't know what I'm feeling for Rose. If you do, trust me, whatever she's going to ask you, you're going to do it. No, I won't allow myself to get to this foolish level. Have you considered what you're going to do after selling all these things and still she doesn't love you? It is not possible! Rose and I love each other. We love each other so much, this is only going to be a little grease to the whole thing that will make her think that I truly care and can take her away. If only you would take my advice and stop embarking on this journey you want to. You see that at the end, this journey will be unfruitful and most unreasonable. Thank you, brother, for the advice, but I'm sorry, my mind is already made up. And you know what? <laughs> I already have buyers waiting for me. I'm sorry. Nana, don't do this. Nana! I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're going to sell all these things. Hey! You're close! I wonder why this guy won't even use his mystical voice to lure this stupid girl to his side forever. Now that I've been able to raise the money for her birthday, she will return to me and things will be fine with us again. <laughs> oh God! Hey. Hmm. Look, if it's not the reason you called me here is unreasonable, you don't like what I will say or do to you. Come on, baby. Take it easy on me. Before you scare me alive, at least hear me out first. The fact that I've not been able to take care of you does not mean I don't love you, okay? I love you so much. Old news. Look, we have been hearing that and it's no longer making any sense. If you have nothing in your pocket, you shouldn't be talking about love. What is it, Nana? I promised I was going to run around and see if I can raise that money for your birthday this week, right? This is 950 Ghana cities. It is not up to the 1,000 Ghana cities you demand. Hey, hey. This is what I've been talking about, eh? If you have been doing this, I won't be complaining. Eh, uh, but you see it's not complete. Then you have to run around and make it 1,000 Ghana cities, at least before tomorrow now. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll do that. Come, I've missed you. Come now. Hey, 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 calm down. Don't start, though. Not because you managed to raise me ordinary and and fifty Ghana cities, then you think you can start your sex thing with me again. Be careful, I'll give you your money back. No, 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 no. Baby, it has not gotten to that. Uh, look, I have to run eh. My father was in that when I was leaving. I don't want him to start looking for me. So don't call me or look for me or follow me everywhere. When I want you, I'll find you. Eh? Baby, wait now. I've missed you. When? Now don't be silly, I'll call you. Not even a hug or a kiss. Oh, now we are back together, eh? I was four best sheets, I swear. How 
how will one ever think about that? How will one even consider that little boy of yesterday becoming the community chief? A position I've already seen myself occupying. Oh, because he had made some small money. It's not going through his head. And he thinks he's the richest guy in the community to agree to become the community head. No. Is anything the matter? Father, what is it I'm hearing about the elders selecting and endorsing Mr. Lucky as the chief of this community? What? Mr. Lucky selected and endorsed as the new chief of this community? How? Look, Elder Mensa, Zuga, and Kweku, they are fighting a lost battle. You know, they single-handedly want to select someone without informing me. I think Mr. Lucky must have bribed them. If not, where would the idea of him becoming the chief of this community come from? I can't believe this is happening. Seriously, I can't. Father, I have visualized you of becoming the chief of this community. Look, we can't just allow somebody to cut this dream short. Father, are you going to sit there and allow them abort your dream of becoming the chief of this community? Impossible. He will only become that after my death. As long as I live, if I don't become the community chief, nobody will. Yes, Father. No one will. Father, we are strongly behind you. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah. What's all this? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, oh, chief, chief. Let me, let me. Okay. How are you? Welcome, oh, chief. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Fine. Is this Kwame? <laughs> I'm witty. <laughs> Welcome. What's the problem with her? You know that evil woman how she is now. Oh, she's not bad now. Anyway, how is it? We thank God, though. We are fine. Um, you know, I just came to supervise my water project. You know that my water project? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, I just yes. came to see how it's doing now. Oh, okay. I just okay. passed by to see how you are doing. Okay. With you. Thank you very much. I hope business is booming. <laughs> thank God. Though. That's nice it's to fine, hear. Yeah. That's nice to hear. I'll take my leave. Okay, well, thank so, you very much. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming. Okay. Bless you. Coming. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Right. Thank you. So much in the sun, evil. In this which we live. The evil ones are everywhere. Looking for to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted. There's no longer go So much sadness in our land. For the sake of the So in spite of all that I did, you are still flourishing and doing well. Eh? Hmm. You are not beginning to feel like a champion. Abby? Hmm. It is time to put an end to it all. Great Shakarakiki. You promised to fight all our battles. And deal with our enemies. I need you now. I want you to permanently put away Judas from my way, and by the time she leaves, all her customers will be mine. The vultures of horror, come and fight the battles. That is the way the cookies crumbles. Goodbye to bad rubbish.
that that the, the elders have chosen a great man like Mr. Lucky as a new community chief. My dear, you know this is indeed a great milestone for our community. <laughs> the elders are indeed are doing a great job as white men of our community. My dear, they will do even more better if that um, wicked and evil man, what's that his name again, um, Sa Kwame, is removed totally, serious, if he's removed totally from, from the elderhood, then they will do a better job. You know, I hate him with a passion. <laughs> you know, eh, the three elders, my father, your father and Elder Kweku, do not support any of his misdeeds. My father explained to me that the reason why the council placed him on suspension was because of the Jiang saga. Let's go. Yes, 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 that's true, I remember. True. My father told me the same thing. And do you know what I said? What? I said, that serves him right. Yes. And I also heard that right now he has totally opposed the selection of Mr. Lucky as a... Um, the new community chief. That's he doesn't support anything good. Well, I'm glad that tradition stipulates that majority carries the vote. <laughs> 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 I'm happy, my sister. But you're doing <laughs> Right now, it is a case of three against one. You know, so whether he likes it or not, Mr. Lucky is already the community chief. <laughs> It was your business. Sorry Tell them you. to take it away from me. Sorry you. Yes, Gabriel. What? 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 What are you saying? What? When did this happen? What is it now? My mother. My mother just had an attack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. this to yourself. You'll be fine. Yes. You'll be fine. I know that this is the handwork of the of the evil ones. The enemies within. But they will not succeed. Our gods will punish them severely. What could have happened to her? How can someone walking around just last night? All of a sudden, develop a swollen leg and cannot walk. This is not ordinary. It is a clear and work of the evil ones. Because I can't just understand. Somebody is behind this. And if you will ask me, I will say it's a spiritual attack. The way I'm looking at this thing. <laughs> the insect that eats and destroys the vegetable lives amongst the vegetables. I know exactly what struck my wife and who did or who was behind it. And I assure you, I'll get to the root of this matter. Hmm. 
So much wicked as an evil in this one way to really The evil ones are everywhere Looking forward to destroy Our lands have been corrupted Things no longer go wrong So much that is in our head For the sake of the vulture So much wicked as an evil in this one way to really The evil ones are everywhere a child who said his mother will not sleep, he will not sleep himself. Imagine a common Eunice standing on my way and challenging me. I have simply shown her that a stubborn grasshopper always end up in the belly of the bed. <laughs> And I can assure her that whoever Shakarakiki set on bondage is always on bondage. Her shop is closed down and that is what it shall remain forever. All her customers are mine now. They've all returned to me. What's up? How did the lectures go? It went well. Everything went well today. Unlike Mr. Gordon, he didn't take any extra time today in class. Class went just straight and precise to the point. What's up, Richie? Are you still writing these notes? Yes, yeah, so, you know, it's much, but I'm almost done. Aha. Uh -huh. Doctor, someone came to the class after we had uh, finished with Mr. Godwin's lectures. He brought the scripts of last, last test. Baby, you didn't do well. Let me see that. Oh, how? Three over ten? Come on. Even if I was the dullest student in that class, I would have scored ordinary three. In a test. Yeah, I was, I was even surprised. But I had eight and a half though. What? Even you? Hell no. I'm not taking this. I'm not going to take this and kill me, Mikada. Yet, she carries herself like the prettiest girl on campus. My God, if I rise up, if I wake from that dream, if I wake up, now because of you, if I don't hit her, I put hit her. Honestly, I own her too much now. If I have my way, I will open the ground and bury her alive. <laughs> Look, because of her attitude towards me, I now hate everything about her. But how am I going to explain this? That I spent all the money and time on her, but yet not even an inch close to her. Look, not even a kiss. And to talk of sex. This is not me. A whole me. Hi. <laughs> it's freaky unbelievable. And that is what it has become. Except in your dreams. No, my God. There is a way out. There is a way out. It's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Gift. Sir. Are you okay? You look sad and troubled. What is it? No, you're not fine. I observed you while you clean the living room and your face portrayed sadness. Tell me, what is it? There's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Let me continue the cleaning. Gifty! Gifty! Come over here! Sir. Uh, Gifty, have a seat. Sit down, I want to talk to you. Uh, Gifty, I remember telling you some two years ago, when you first came to live with us, after the death of your parents, uh, that by implication, we have now assumed the responsibility of your, your foster parents. And uh, since that time, we've tried our best possible to treat you as one of our own. So I, I see no reason why uh, something should be bothering you, something should be troubling you, and you, you refuse to talk to any of us, uh, neither me nor my wife, about it. It's not like that, sir. It's just that you people have been so good to me. I just don't want to bother you with my personal problems. Uh, Gifty, uh, uh, tell me this. If your parents were alive today, would you have hesitated? Would you have uh, thought twice about it in telling them about what is troubling you? If you truly have taken us as your foster parents, why wouldn't you talk to us? What is it? Tell me, what is it? What's bothering you? I... I had my younger sister, the one my auntie took in to live with her, mm -hmm. just as people took me in after our parents died. I heard she has been turned into a prostitute in a hotel at Oshu. Ever since then, I tried reaching her, but to no avail. You know, before our parents died, my mom especially warned us to stay away from jobs that would bring bad name to, to us, you know, jobs like that. That's, that's very sad to hear, but why? Why would she do such a thing? Why would she want to turn your sister into a prostitute? For what I heard, she goes to parents that are poor, takes their daughters, claiming she wants to help them further their school, only for she to turn them into prostitutes. I don't know what to do, you know. She's all I have in this world and I can't let her go that way, please. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. sorry. Gifty, look, wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. It's okay. You see why it's important to talk to somebody about this? I'm going to promise you this. I'm going to make sure I, I go over to uh, the, the National Eradication of Girls Prostitution and get a team there to go over to that woman's place and make sure they raid the place. As such a woman should not even be allowed to exist in our society. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm, I'm so sorry. Just, I'm going to take you over from here, okay? Thank you so much. It's okay, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. And then uh, when your sister is uh, is out of there, I'm going to make sure I, I send her to my friend in Takra Day. They've been telling me and my wife that, that they, 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 want, they want somebody to stay with them, like you, to come and help them take care of their, their, their children. So I'm going to make sure I send her over there, it's okay. Go, go, go back and do your work. I now understand why you've been so sad. Thank you. Okay, Let go me back. go prepare lunch for Junior and then. Yeah, they will soon be back from school. I think the driver is going to pick them. It's okay, don't worry about it. I'll handle it from here, okay? Wow! 
Oh, God. This is too good to be true. Thy names. <laughs> Our time has come. Have a look. <laughs> is the document in? Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. You can say that again. It's indeed our time. Time to make so much money. Time to hit the government treasury and collect our own dividends of democracy. <laughs> exactly, my brother. See, all those MPs and ministers are always stealing the money meant for us all. Oh. Yeah. Look, year in, year out, huge budgets are being made. And we end up seeing nothing. I wonder what they even spend all this money on. Look, now that we have this little opportunity on our doorsteps, we are not gonna die at all. <laughs> a whopping $300,000 for an integrated power project? Seriously? Right, listen, I'm buying a brand new car and built three houses out of this. Wow! You've got some gas, man. You know what? I'm gonna build a new house for my mom in the village. Yeah. And I'm gonna build a new one here and buy a fresh car. Listen, those are all nice plans. But I'm afraid the issue here is with the boss. Will he accept our suggestion of splitting the project money among us? You know how he reasons sometimes? Yeah, but James, we are going to find a way to convince him on this project. After all, this money is meant for us all. Isn't it? Yeah. We'll convince him, trust me. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go. Look, guys, the answer is no. And or no. I completely disagree with you guys on this. Look. The, the, the Minister of Energy and, and Power brought this project on my desk because he trusts me completely. He knew when we were in school how much I detested the idea of bribery and corruption. He knew. I even led an anti-corruption and bribery campaign in school, on campus. Look, the idea of taking public funds meant for national projects and, and, and diverting them to our personal pockets, as you guys are suggesting, it's completely wrong. Wrong! I'm not going to take that. If we fail to deliver on this project as is expected to the height, posterity is going to judge us. And even the people in the rural areas that are meant to benefit from this project the most are going to curse us and our unborn generations. I'm telling you, gentlemen, our bonuses and allowances, they run into hundreds of thousands. Please, let us be content. Let us use what we have and manage it. Let's do our utmost best to make sure that this project is executed very well. Because if we do, just if we do, we are going to stamp our names in the history books of this nation forever. Yes. I knew he was not going to agree to this. Boss is too nice for a man. Imagine the opportunity of hitting the national treasury and he just <laughs> let it go. Well, you know, he's indeed a different kind of man. I mean, his kind is hard to find anywhere in the world. Any other boss would have jumped at the opportunity and accepted our suggestion and have the project money split at the monsters. <sighs> but look how he treated the issue. I'm glad I'm under him and I work for him. I learn new things every day. Ray, you're right. I also learn new things from him every day. I've come to learn that it's a hard time as Sean being greeted and embezzling public funds. Rather, be content with what I have, no matter how small. Yeah. I think you're right.
Okay, let's see how good or bad it is. What? What? I failed! How can I score box 407? How possible is this? In fact, I'm surprised as you are. But how can Dr. Samoa do a thing like this? At this crucial time when everyone is thinking of how to leave the school, he's busy slamming people carry over. That man has done his worst. Now is my time to strike. What do you think? No, hold on. Hey, hey, Quinn. Where do you think you're going? And so what? You have the guts and the audacity to come into my office, threatening me, telling me that you will deal with me until I will beg to die. A whole me in this small school of ours. Well, I have failed you. I want you to do your worst. I want to see what you can do. If that is the part you chosen, it's so Nonsense. You haven't seen anything yet. I'm still going to fail you on other causes. Impudence. What? Insolence. Bullocks. We shall see. Today is a very great day in the history of this company. Today we celebrate something very special. So, uh, who's going to do me the favor? Oh, sir. Hey, open the bottle. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's drink up to something. <clears throat> we are so happy. <laughs> what a great day. Wow, wow, wow. It's indeed a great day. <laughs> Ray, let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ray. Okay, yeah. Sir. <laughs> sir. Okay, no problem, man. I would have held you in contempt. You know, who yours first. I know you were hungry. Okay. 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 Um, I want to say a big thank you to you guys for a job well done. You guys actually put in your best in making sure that this project was brilliantly executed. The entire country is happy for this project. The uh, integrated power plant project. It's a huge success. The entire country is applauding us. Even I had the president and a few ministers of my line. They're all so happy. They are thanking us for our job well done. <laughs> like I said um, a few months ago, before we commenced this project, that if we are able to execute this project very well, we are going to have our names written in the history books of this nation. And that's what we've done. You can say that again, sir. You know, I'm so grateful that we succeeded. And today, we have all cause to celebrate our achievements. <laughs> exactly, sir. In fact, we have been able to achieve and do something that so many people wouldn't have been able to achieve. And you made us saw the reason to achieve that with your mindset. Ray, 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 uh, sometimes the normal rules of engagement don't apply. And even the regular office ethics are bent. But they are not broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, for carrying out this project uh, at uh, such a level and making sure that uh, we, we've had the applause and uh, admiration of the whole country, I want to say a big thank you to you guys. From my heart. That's what you say. Well, I'd like to propose a toast. May the almighty God who gave us the grace to carry on this project to a logical conclusion open new doors for us all, our company and our individual lives. Cheers. 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 
um, you guys can now go ahead and uh, celebrate with um, the rest of the members of the office because everybody contributed in making sure this project was a success. So I, I meant everybody, not <laughs> leaving anybody. Even the security is <laughs> one of you about to Yes, that will be yeah, that will be Even the security. Every, I, I was going to join you guys, but then uh, today, you know, it's also a very special day for me. Today is my wife's birthday. Wow. So I'm planning something very special for her. <laughs> so uh, you guys can go ahead and have fun, you know. Right. Thank you, thank you. You can take the wine. Uh, take the. Please okay. greet your wife. Champagne. Please. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Bye, sir. Okay. Prosperity and progress. Amen. And I'm very happy to be part of the celebration God has for you today. Oh, thank you, darling. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. There is more to it. I am here to take you out for lunch. <laughs> this girl, you always bring up your surprises. A special treats just for you. <laughs> so, where exactly are you taking me? Tell them the best mother in the world. Oh, thank you. And finally, today, honey, I have something special to show you. No, we have something special to show you. Something to show me? Yes, mommy, but I have to go with a blindfold. Blindfold? Yes, mommy, just part of the exciting activities marking your birthday. And I'm ordered to do the blindfold. Yeah, it's very late. There are two light mosquitoes in my room and I want to know if you can give me your consent, sir. Alright, I'll be right there. 
Guys, what is it that we saw? Was that a skeleton? Somebody wake me from this dream. I can't believe it's happening. I should have known that girl is a witch. Hey. Or how do you explain her turning into a skeleton? A horrible one at that. Jack, if this girl is really a witch, then we are all doomed. Hey. 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 No. no. <laughs> Come on, baby. What's keeping you? Come on now, please. Oh, did somebody miss me already? Missing you? Mm-hmm. That's an understatement. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh this is just a beginning. Why do I keep feeling that we do not have enough girl in to win this competition when we are out to compete with other schools? I see. Why do you still feel this way? You know, we have a total number of five selected beautiful damsels and they have all what it takes, I mean everything, to even win a contest. I mean, even Miss World. So, what is your problem? I feel the same way too, Kofi. I don't feel that way. Why don't I feel that way? I mean, why am I not seeing things the way you do? Look, we are the organizers of this beauty pageant. If anything should go wrong, we would be affected. Nothing will go wrong. Let's just be positive. Hi, guys. Hi. Sup, pretty girls? Sup, guys? We came to ask when we have a house today. Oh, sorry. You know, because of the usual weekend classes, we're not going to have rehearsals today. But I think it's going to be next week, so you guys can just take today off and probably relax. That would be nice, guys. Thanks. That will be all for now. We'll see you guys later. Okay. I am still saying what I'm saying, you know. I still have my doubts. Uh -huh. Wow! What a damn soul! Girls, did you see what I saw in here? Look, ever since I saw this girl, I have been imagining her joining this competition and winning this crown for us. Kofi, are you falling for her or you really think she can be a beauty queen? Excuse me. He thinks he's got the power of a pen and a paper. So he harassed and molested me. And when I turned him down, he failed me in two of his courses. And whilst I was still trying to recover from that, Jerry and his gang invaded and tried to rape me. They did their worst. Now is my time to strike. Please fight for me. Visit them mysteriously one by one because they dared me. Fight for me. Yes, who's there? Come on in.
I'll say come in. One of the students he molested have cursed him. <sighs> maybe. Just maybe. I promised you that I will deal with you to the extent that you will beg to die, but you will not. I have just started. <laughs> This is the time to put an end to all my enemies. And this is the time to deal with the people who are doing well in this land. Great Sakarakiki. Great Sakarakiki. Great Sakarakiki. those who are progressing like they are the luckiest and hardworking your end has come I'm sorry you travel overseas and made so much money and return here 
and oppress people with your pounds and dollars. You built big and tall houses. You bought expensive cars and used money like nobody's business. This is your end. Donald, you think you are now a man. You have a beautiful wife. She is pregnant. I will make her remain pregnant for two years. And when she's about to deliver, she is going to deliver a goat. If you are, you have no respect for anybody and you want to sleep. <laughs> sleep and get up no more. You are the newly appointed community chief. You know I want to have it. True. You have taken it from me. You have no idea of what is going to happen to you. Shakarakiki. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you my oldest. I was. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> yes. Lucky, lucky. Oh, <sighs> You're all welcome. No problem. No problem. This meeting is very important. Yes. It's about your installation as the new community chief next week. Looking back as to how it has been done, according to our tradition, we need to send words to the traditional regional head. Let him know of your appointment and the general acceptability by our people. Exactly. It means they will send some of their top uh, members of traditional council to our land there to come and witness what we are doing here and see what uh, we are planning towards the coronation. It's a great event. They have to come. Oh, so <coughs> this means it's going to be a very big and elaborate Remarky. event. Surely, it is usually a remarkable location. Our sons and daughters will all be expected back home. Of course. As well as people from the neighboring yes. communities who will yes. be coming to share in our joyful moment. Well, that is it. <laughs> yes. We are <laughs> Once again, I would love to show you my respect by thanking you so very much for the honor given me to serve my people. I... <laughs> what is it? Zuga! Zuga!
How can we explain to anyone that our newly selected chief to be installed this week is mad? Moving around the community stuck naked. Same way, a strange ailment attacked my wife, rendering her useless and permanently sending her out of the community selling place. We are in for something we don't know in this land. I fear for this land. If you could remember some times ago, I told you that my wife woke up from a terrible nightmare, saying that she saw some satanic agent taking over the entire community. I begin to see that a dream is becoming true. <sighs> In as much as I disagree with her born again and Jesus theories, I must admit that her dreams are becoming true. They are becoming realities in our community. Hmm? These are extraordinary things. Our town is gradually coming to ruins with unspeakable things happening around us. Hmm? Even our sons in the city are complaining about stagnations and uh, lack of progress in all their endeavors. And even the ones that are doing well, that we can point to, they are descending from grace or grass. News of uh, a spiritual attack everywhere. And they confirm the example is, look at it, look. I heard of two women, John's wife and Ephia, who have been carrying pregnancies for over a year. Is that normal? No. These are no natural way. things. Mama! Mama! Look, it's Bratu! Ah, Bratu! Greetings, my audience. You are welcome. Greetings, our son. You are welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are welcome. Greetings, father. Welcome, my son. Welcome. <laughs> Mama. So this is true. <sighs> Who did this to you, my my enemies, so they have succeeded in pulling me down. So this is what this village has turned into. I tell you, brother, evil people are everywhere. Rose, go to the car. There's some stuff in the car. Maybe I should have hold on to the charm Fida gave me. Because it helped brought back all my customers the next day. Instead of relying on the one your father brought from Tema. Seriously, I don't believe in this church people and their fallacies. But I think some of them are powerful too. Ma'am, I think that what um, Elder Kweku's wife gave mother was a very good charm. Because you needed to see the way mother's customers returned to her shop the following day. It was unbelievable. I got that charm from Tema. Because I don't believe in the charm from the church. And now look what it has come to. Swollen leg. And now she's been thrown out of her shop. Alright, father. I think you all did what you think is good and to protect the family. But are you really suspecting anyone? Whoever it is, let's leave it to the gods of our land. 
Hi, ah, son. How is life and business in the city? Fine, father. We're doing our best. Just that things seem to be stagnant. And what baffles me is all the sons and daughters of our land are going through the same hurdle. And I don't really, really understand. It's also terrible here in the village. Backwardness and disorder. It's uncountable. The list is endless. Now that you are here, my son, be very, very careful. It is obvious this land has been contaminated by the evil people. But one thing I know, one day, the gods of our land will fizzle them all. Sure, sure. no longer go So much for the sake of the revolution, so much we give us an evil, and there's some which we leave. The evil ones are everywhere, looking forward to destroy. Our lands have been corrupted, things no longer go well. The Thomas and I see no land for the sake of the Okay. Welcome, 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 You know, I had to make sure my brother wasn't following me. Hey, Ruth, I heard Angina Kuju is around. It's a lie. No, I am so serious. Besides, I heard my father talking about it this morning. This is good news, though. I'm so happy. Angina Kuju has been my saving grace. His philanthropic and generous programs have seen me through junior school and high school and even to the university now. God, I'm so happy. This is good news. Wow. So what's going to happen? You don't tell me that you're going to see him because like, if you're going to see him, I am definitely coming with you. What for? Your brother came back the other day from the city and he came back with a lot of money. So what other money do you want? Could you should help those who have no assistance. I mean, your brother is there now. Rose, you will not believe this. I mean, this time my brother came back from the city very empty-handed. Without anything. This is unlike him. What is happening in our village, Seth? Eh? Everybody is complaining about the same thing. I know he will surely give the money to us so that I can pay my children's school fees, okay? I trust him. I know you will not fail me. Because the last time he was here, he gave me so much money. Okay, then my children can go to school now that I'm here. Don't worry. I know, yes, he will, he will not fail us. I'm sorry for keeping you people oh, waiting. No you know, whenever I'm around the village, a lot of people come to see me. And it always gladdens my heart to be of assistance to them. Okay. Uh, I've heard you all you two had to say about what you've been going through. I'm so sorry for that. You know, life uh, sometimes treats people very badly. And it's, it's very sad that you people are one of them. But um, I just have... A little something to. Um, Thank you. Very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is for you to use uh, to restart your businesses, mm -hmm. so that you can be able to help your family once more. Thank you very much. I'm so yes, grateful. God You're bless welcome. you. You're welcome. God bless you. Um, I will have to leave you people now. Um, I wish you and your families well. I have some people inside waiting for me. Yes, Thank okay. you very much. Just have a good evening. Okay. God bless you. I like coming to this house like every time. It's so beautiful. Rose, you know, I do not even know what to say. I mean, this place is so beautiful. I know. So comfortable. I feel like I was. Now, you're joining. Now, you're comfortable. You're sitting here. You're just like acting like you're so pissed. 
Lydia Rose. Yes, Uncle Good evening, Uncle Joe. How are you two doing? <sighs> We're very fine, Uncle Kujo. <laughs> We're fine, thank you, Uncle Joe. How's Aunt Lisa, Nelly, and Junior? Oh, your auntie, she's very fine. The children, they are doing very well. And uh, Didi? Yes, Uncle Joe. I heard what happened to your mother. Um, how is she doing now? We thank God she's awake today. Though her case gets worse by the day. The legs get more swollen and rotten each passing day. It's, 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 so, it's so sad to hear that your mom's legs are getting rotten every day. Wow. I'm going to try to pass to see her before I go back to the city. Oh, are you serious, Uncle Kujo? That, that would be so nice of you. And she'll be so happy if you pass by. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Rose, before I forget... Uh, That's for your, your school fees, your pocket money, just for your upkeep. And Didi, this is also for you. Thank you, Uncle Joe. Thank you very much, Uncle Kujo. God will bless you for us. Amen, amen. Uncle Joe, words cannot express how grateful I am. <clears throat> From where this came, may God replenish a thousand foods. <laughs> <laughs> amen. <sighs> So, Rose, that's exactly what I'm saying. Hey, Rose. See, I need you to cooperate with him. You know it's my brother we're talking about here. Didi. Didi, I hope what I'm about to do is right. And... I'm not throwing myself at him. Then look cheap at the end of the day. Ah, come on, Rose. I mean, how can you say a thing like this? Rose, you know you're my best friend. And I will not mislead you. Besides, your future is more secured with him than it is with anyone else. At least, more than it is with that young and boy. <laughs> Hi. You get pretty every day and so irresistible. Thank you. You have no idea what we can do together. Really? So, you mean to tell me you don't have a wife or a girlfriend in the city? <laughs> Come on, if I do, I won't be telling you all this. Believe me, we can be happy together. Trust me. So, what do you want from me? <laughs> I want you to be mine. I want you to be the lady I think of when I wake up very early in the morning. And the last thing on my mind when I'm going to bed. My one and only. My last lady standing. Come to daddy. Mama! My friend here has made so much money. What did I say? Too much money. So I want you to serve everybody here drink. They don't take money. In fact, bring bear, ring, call people to come and drink. Just serve them. Anything they will ask them to share them. Bossu, 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 he now carries my brother's girlfriend. Hmm. Ato, 
you are threading on grounds even angels will not dare go. But I can assure you, you are going to clip those feathers of yours. Steve, you sure you know what you saw? You mean my own rose without good for nothing at all? Impossible. They were doing open love. He was feeding her with some fresh fish pepper soup. So, the little money he has made from the city has gotten into his head, right? No, he actually thinks he can come here and throw money around and snatch my girl from me over my dead body. That will only happen after my death, not when I'm still breathing. I have told you time without number to use your mystical powers to tie that bitch called Rose. But you insisted on her loving you naturally. See where it has landed you. Look, Steve. I need you to join me in this. We have to teach that bastard how to a lesson. You rest assured that I'm already with you. That idiot has oppressed us enough. Everywhere you go, he is there with his toy car, throwing money about and winning the love and admiration of the whole village. When I finish dealing with you, Arthur, when next you see or hear of a girl that belongs to me, you will take to your heels. Trust me. You know, this is why God will always bless Kojo. <laughs> because he doesn't come empty handed. You see? say because of him, God will bless Kojo. How does it taste like it? <laughs> not too much, not too much. <laughs> It's good for obesity. Taste it. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. This is this is it. This is it. It hits you first, then it begins to tear your stomach. Try it. Obesity medicine. Do you know what they call obesity? You go to school. Oh, obesity. I know when you see drink, your English is different. I don't know whether you became a doctor also. Elder, ah. hey, the man, you are welcome. The wise man of our land. I was so good. I greet you once again. I greet you once again. We did not you reach here before the wise coming brought the everything out of the day. You say we should start enjoying. Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea. God bless you. I hope you people are, I hope you people are happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Very nice. No problem. No okay. problem. If they are not, I am. My elders. Since I got back home like uh, four days ago, I've been going around the village, greeting people, and seeing everything you people have been doing in the village. And I must say that you people have been doing a very great job in the village. I don't know what would have happened to this village if there were no elders like you people. That's why we selected Lucky to be the new community head. Mm. Mm? But madness struck him some few days to his installation. I, I'm, I'm even so surprised to hear that uh, and Lucky, uh, Lucky is now a madman. Because uh, knowing Lucky and knowing his family, uh, madness does not run anywhere in his lineage. Exactly, exactly. Kujo, that's one of the evil things that has been happening in our community now. The unusual is happening as if it's part of our tradition. Kujo, our land is in trouble. Outrageous things happening these days. Sometimes we are even scared to close our eyes at night because of the fear of the unknown. It's surprising to hear all of these things have been going on in this village. Our village has been known by everybody for its peacefulness. Has been known to be very peaceful. So uh, what went wrong? Uh, who did we offend? Or have the gods now turned their back on us? That's a million questions we've asked over and over again with no one providing any answer. Well, Kojo, 
you will do us one favor. You will help us take Lucky to rehab home. Maybe his insanity can be cured. That's, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I will do just that. I will make sure I do that before I can return back to the, the city. Because I should be going back tomorrow. You know, since I came here, I left a lot of work in my office to be completed. And even everything that is going on around here is, is, is not too healthy for me. That's very good of you, Kojo. Like you've always been. Very good. In fact, since you came, everyone in the village is happy. Because almost everyone has benefited one way or the other from you. God bless you. That's not a problem, you know. I see it as uh, an obligation to my people. And, uh... I also got, uh... This is my own way of saying to you people that I'm very impressed with the work you people have done in this village. I want to say thank you. May the gods continue to bless you. <laughs> I'm grateful. Thanks a lot. That's okay. That's okay. You people deserve uh, much more than what I'm even giving you people. Um, one more thing, one more very important thing. Uh, I have made arrangements for water and light to be extended to our people living at the boundary between us and Kaswa. And uh, you know, I've, I've, uh, as I said, I've been moving about the village and I have noticed a lot of things, even the, the widows and their children, they are suffering a lot, even the youths. Uh, those youths that uh, want to go to school and uh, you know better their lives uh, because of financial constraint, they are finding it difficult to even go to school. Uh, so uh, all these things put together have motivated me to uh, to set up a program to assist the people of my village. Paramensa, Paramensa, please, I, I want you to spearhead the water and light being extended to our people living at the boundary. That's good. And uh, I'll, I'll a quick project. I, I want you to please head the, the program for uh, the widows and the children. That's okay. Make sure that that is well okay. Thank okay. you. And lastly, uh, Erozuga, <laughs> Erozuga, my order, uh, please, I want you to uh, take care of the program I've set up for the youth. Uh, so that uh, those who want to go to school will have access to school, you know, without any financial constraint. That's awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm handling all this over to you people because of, I trust you, my elders, uh, because of the great work you people have been doing in this village, the way you people have coordinated and carried out the affairs of this village, even without a chief. I have no doubt that you people hmm. are going to use the funds that will be given to you people, who will be used for the reasons they have been given to you people. Kojo? Kojo? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, my order. You've done well. May God of this land continue to bless you. Amen. Sure. And the people of this village will remain indebted to you forever. Sure. For the good thing you have been doing for us, yeah. for the love, for the kindness. Yeah. And I am assuring you, you will never find us wanting in all the area you assigned us to. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. God blessings you for you. When your parents return, uh, make sure you let them know that I was here to see them. Okay, we'll, we'll tell them when they come. And um, I will be leaving for the city tomorrow. Well, that would be okay, Uncle. I'm not happy with you guys. Uh... I have to let you know. Even if my elder brother, your father, has refused to be associated with me for reasons we all know, or he's refused to take things from me, 
Do you guys have to join in that? For crying out loud, I have enough money to take care of all of us. All of us. I help people I don't even know every day. And what about you? My own blood. My immediate uh, constituency. I can see that uh, you guys are, are not finding it easy here. Yeah. And I, I have chances even in my company in the city where you guys could come and work and earn a better living than sitting here in this village. Look, my beloved nephew, sir, come and join me. Come. My, my, my arms are widely open to you guys. I belong to all of us. Uncle, we, we understand your generosity towards us, but you know we can't do anything without the consent of Father. He won't allow us. I understand. That's okay. But I will have to take my leave now. I just want you guys to know that uh, if ever you have a change of heart and need my help, my doors are always open to you guys. You know where to find me. Have a good day. Bye, Uncle. Goodbye. What's yours, Steve? Do you know that Uncle made a lot of sense in all that he said? I mean, how can we be living in this village suffering as we are whilst we have an uncle who is so wealthy and generous? I hope you are not having any intention of going to him to take anything from him. Because father will just kill you, you know. This whole idea of living by the bank of the river while soap is blinding our eyes is what I just don't understand. The man get money. Who we'll take the money chop, you say, Father? Mm. Ah, this is good. Very good. I hear Kojo came here. He, he, yes, Father. Ah, what did he come to do? He wouldn't have come to see me. He came to see us, Father. I hope you people didn't collect anything from him. No, Father. He tried giving us something, but as usual, he turned him down. Oh, that's very good. He may be rich, but we are not interested. I hear he goes about in the village foolishly, you know, throwing money about like he always does. Stupid boy. I asked him to join us, worship the gods of our forefathers. He said no. But seriously, Father, Uncle Kojo is something else. He's too generous. I've not seen a man like him before. He is like our mother. Our mother used to be very generous. Just the last stupid boy, could you? She was generous to a fault. You know, if his money flows like a river, we are not interested. You know, he said we are idol worshippers. And we are living in darkness. And he is living in light. Accepted. What? Is light doing with darkness? I wonder too. Uh -huh. So, Father, now that Mr. Lucky, your rival to the position of the chief community, is off the way, what is your next move? The uncivilized and idiotic elders want to see me about the alleged suspicion this weekend. You know what? That is going to be the top discussion. You know, your four days at the village felt like one year. <laughs> Many. I missed you. Like Nelly would say, duh. I missed you more. I miss you so much more. So, how was the village? How is Kwame, his wife and kids? Oh, and um, what about Eunice and Elder? Romensa? Exactly. Honey, a lot of things are going wrong in the land. Like everything is turning upside down. Everything in the village? How? Honey, I don't even know how to start to explain this. Our village has been without a chief for like close to two years now. 
And just recently, the elders selected uh, one illustrious son of the soul called uh, Mr. Lucky. Uh, you won't believe it, honey. Just a few days to the guy's installation, he just suddenly got mad. That's, that's just, that's just the beginning. You know, uh, even Eunice you asked about. Do you know that Eunice was attacked spiritually and now she has a rotten leg? That can be true. Honey, if I, if I didn't go to see her myself, I would be saying the same thing you're saying. But I, I went there myself and I saw her. You know, she, she was in a shop and she started to feel some pains in her leg and after that she locked up the shop and she, she, she just retired home. Now if you go to see her leg, her leg is swollen up and maggots are even coming from her leg. Mm -hmm. They said, according to Edda Kweku, he said some, uh, some spiritual, some, some evil spirit or something just visited our village. That's why everything is like going wrong. What is this society turning into? Honey, I'm too sad about everything I saw. And the worst part about it is that all fingers are being pointed at Brother Kwame and his family. What? Seriously. Um, Kofi, whatever you call yourself, I already told you, I'm no model, neither am I a beauty queen. So please. Look, 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 Queen. You have everything. No girl can defeat you in such a contest. Believe me. No girl. Um, if you don't mind, you're beginning to stalk me. And I'm not enjoying it anymore. Excuse me. Let's, let's go. Ah. I... Can you see what you're turning this whole thing into? No matter what happened, I must get her. We need someone with natural beauty and charisma in this contest. I must get her. It's all right, bro. Let's go. Hello. Whoa. Play, play, play. This is actually nice. Oh, never mind. I have to like it. This girl is actually beautiful. She's yeah. very pretty. Yeah, I see her. I was getting worried. What took you girls so long? And why are your faces like that? We heard Kofi has been going around telling people we are not good enough for this contest. What? How can? The one that pains me most is the fact that he's been seen severally trying to wear a certain babe called Queen. He claims she has everything it takes to bring the crown for her school. What nonsense. But we didn't choose ourselves as the last five finalists. The judges in the school level voted, so why are they play hating? Why must it even come from one of the top organizers? Sometimes I wonder what that guy Kofi thinks of himself. A drone or something. Hey girls, don't get yourself worked up over this, okay? After all, it's just a mere rumor. There are really no facts backing this up. So let's just lie low as if we didn't hear anything. Until we see anything we can hold on to. I have something to show you guys. Come here, see. Yes. Ahu, whom the vultures. Vultures of Hunger. Baby, this uncle is very, very funny. <laughs> I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> Sit down, let's go. Oh, okay. Hold it there, both of you. And what are you doing here, Nana? Wrong question. The right question is, what are you doing with this idiot? I hope you are not in any way referring to me. Look, there's only one idiot in this whole village that returned from the city with chicken change he stole from his master. Oh, the biker, clothes, and came back to this village to deceive and snatch people's girlfriends. And whose girlfriend did he snatch? I hope you're not your friend, because I'm not your girlfriend. Oh, do you know one thing? You are very funny, boy. At least I have a master I can steal from. And very good people in my life that can borrow me cars and clothes. So you tell me, what can you offer? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sweetie, sit down and let's go before this stupid boy infects us with poverty that wants in their family. Maybe you think I came here to joke. Now, will you step away from that car and follow me right now? What's wrong with it? Sweetie, just give me the space. If you don't live here right now, you won't like what I will do to you. You are an idiot. A thick headed moron. Oh! Oh! Now, you listen to me. Ross is the woman I want to marry. And if I hear any time you dare come close an inch, I will arrest you and make sure you die in detention. You have drawn the first blood and the battle line is drawn. You have no idea what is coming after you. Are Oh, just some horror. 